And a good day, all of you. Jean Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you, another Beverage Ramble edition. Yes, these videos become sparse now and then, but I'm trying to get back on the scene doing more. Uh, today, um, I have this beer now for about a month now. I've had this beer for about a month. Uh, Speculous Cookie Butter Beer comes in at 9.5% ABV. This is an American strong ale. Some say maybe golden ale. Depends on what website. Uh, 85 score, very good on Beer Advocate. And three, ah, uh, shit. 3.5 out of 5 on, on tap. Now, I don't have the proper glass to drink this beer. I've seen some of the videos of it on the tube. And, um,. Don't have the glass i'm doing my rock glass here so i will update that just moving into my new place still trying to get shit organized stuff organized excuse me so anyway here's what the beer looks like um i think this beer, beer has been a while been around now going on two years some of the videos i've seen have been um well some of the videos currently and some of the ones i've seen i uh, have gone back from two years ago 20 2022 so uh, I bought this at Trader Joe's so this is a looks like a uh, an item that's mostly exclusive to Trader Joe's but I'm guessing it could be other areas other stores besides that and I have been disappointed going to Trader Joe's um, for a while now because of what I've been seeing um, as you know some of your Trader Joe's as most stores do they'll have all the local stuff that they'll have um, but from time to time they'll have the local stuff, the local breweries, and they'll have their own supply of stuff, you know, like the Simpler Times, um, sometimes Lager, sometimes Pilsner, they have their um, uh, Stockyard, their Stout, um, they'll have their Bosun, which is their um, IPAs, but before that, it was pretty extensive of stuff that they had, they had the Simpler Times Pilsner. You had the um, the Bosun HLV, the Heavy Lift Vessel. That was popular. Um, the Peter Brands, their uh, Dutch lager. Uh, the Orange Bloom, another lager. Um, and a few other things. But for whatever the reason, these last couple of years now, they have kind of shrink that beer section where it's the local stuff, but you'll have the Stockyard and the Simpler Times and Bolson, and that's pretty much it. And from time to time, you'll have the usual, um, uh, um, variety stuff that they'll put out for the holiday season, the Highland Gourds, which is still out now, um, they'll have their, um, stuff from Joseph Brown, Gordon Bursch beers, basically, um, The Hefeweizen and a few others. Sometimes they'll have their chocolate stout and a few other things. But this year, I don't know. I have to go back to see what they got now. But anyway, there's what the beer looks like. A delicable treat, as they describe this. With milk, sugar, and toasted coconut and whole vanilla beans. So you know it's going to be sweet. And I'm not big on sweet stuff, but we shall see. The smell like what which is the cookie uh butter uh spread is very popular at Trader Joe's. Probably one of many popular things you can get at Trader Joe's. I like their um I like their caram their caramel glaze, their caramel onion uh dip I have with some chips from time to time. And I might make a Trader Joe's run today just to see what they got. So anyway, nine point five percent. Let's have that cheers. Oh man. Hmm. The boost hits you right away, for sure. Ooh. Definitely the vanilla beans. Definitely the toasted coconut you get. Man, oh man. Oh, 
Wow, this is strong. I would this to me, and I'm sure, and I've, I've been seeing some of the videos and some of the reviews I've written that have been written uh, that I've read. Um, yeah, I can see this would be a holiday, specialty holiday beer. And if they have another one of these, I'll probably go run out and get me one so I can save for that time. But, you know, there's no telling what Trader Joe's, especially the Trader Joe's that I go to, if they'll be, it'll be back on the shelf again. Um, so, I paid, I think, what was it, about $2 and some change for this um, pint-sized can. So, um, maybe worth it. But, man, yeah, this is a sipper. Without question, guys. You don't want to guzzle this too. I just want to sip and sip and sip. Um, the toasted coconuts, the vanilla beans. It has sort of that that milky, creamy down taste to it in the end. Um, but but you want to sip this very, very slowly, guys. I mean, you do. You just really do. Um, you don't want to go too much on this one um one would be enough for me and this will definitely be a holiday <clears throat> now it, it kind of it says golden up but this reminds me a little bit of uh, uh a quad a quadruple uh that quad it was a quad beer i tried from pontoon um the pancake thing that they did pontoon a uh, pontoon went out of business unfortunately um that would be that would be something that I can see would, would would kind of remind me this beer of but uh this is strong now another strong ale completely different and it's not as sweet as this and and that would be arrogant bastard ale if you want to compare strong ales um that has more of a bite more of a very bitter not a bitter negative i mean not, not a negative way but it has a bitter aftertaste i mean but a, a bitter taste that's good that really makes it puts it in in its rightful place but man if you're not into sweet beers i would avoid drinking this Just kind of consume just one. And you get that maltiness right there at the top. This is this is quite good, guys. But I can only do one. Um, you know, you're gonna have that that person, the member of the family, who's gonna try to drink two. We'll try to say, ooh, what is this? And I say, just sip it very slow. Um as you know with me in the holidays, uh, beers that I'd say, you know, very passionately, um, I'm a more of a Imperial Stout guy. And I would drink an Imperial Stout when, during the winter season only, uh, especially one that's 10 or 9%. And I know there are a few I've seen now or out now that are, and the way the weather has been, it has, doesn't feel like fall at all, but definitely a stout <laughs> guy imperial style guy than i am the higher the better and i know uh if if they do bring out the uh goose island bourbon county i know we won't get it here uh we will get it we'll probably no i won't get it because they'll probably have a variety dip their flavored variety not the original because i think the abb has gone up like every single year now Last year we didn't get the 2023 version because it was up 14.3 percent, and here in Georgia, our ABV can only go as high as 14. So we still got the 21, the 22 version, still out on certain stores. You can find it. You can call. Um, I say seller them if my if I was if I were you, and then they wouldn't be bad if you tried them right now. So anyway, getting back to this. Good, enjoyable, perfect for the holidays. Uh, this would not be an everyday beer to consume. More of a 
Thanksgiving, Christmas, by the fire, sitting outside with a group of friends, shooting the breeze and enjoying yourself. But that is far as I would give this beer. So um, I'm going to go um, higher than what Beer Advocate has it. I'm going to go, I'll go 85. I'll go 8.8 .8 on this one. If you like sweet stuff, this is for you. I'm more, me so so, but I think what's making this work is the the maltiness of it is kind of making it go down a little smoother, and and I guess that booziness making it go down a bit e more easy for me that the sweetness is not overtaking it. So, um, yeah. Um, 8.8 .8 for me. This is a unique beer. I need to try that cookie butter spread um, to see what all the fuss is about, why people love that stuff. I don't know. Um, just, hey, you got to try it, you got to try it, right? Like I'm trying this. So 8.8, .8, that is a B plus for me for the Speculicious Cookie Butter Beer. See that Trader Joe's brewed from the Hayward Craft Brewery in Richmond, Virginia, an area that I know quite well, very familiar with. So there it is. Check it out. Try it. You may like it. John and Sapir, the beverage ramble tune. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Shh. Spookylicious. Spooky. Yay. Butter beer.